Hi everyone! What a day! It's raining heavily while I'm working on the ink today. In general, the whole summer in Poland is very wet and cloudy. It doesn't particularly bother me. I rarely leave the house and I don't like the strong sun. I enjoy the nice weather through the window. Yeah, I sometimes go travel but not so often. Even though many people complain about such weather, it doesn't really matter to me. The plus of this is that there are a lot of regional fruits this year because of a lot of rain and they are cheap. What can I do in such weather? Basically the same as always. I really have nothing to complain about. The next step is ink, so now I am going to try hard to make a nice line art with the nib. I moved to a flat table because I think I can handle the ink here. And that's also why I moved because I can set up the camera with a top view. On my tilt table, I can't do that well. You also need to choose a nib for drawing with ink. I choose one that is great at refining the detail. Even under pressure, the line remains quite uniform. Unlike other nibs such as Type G, you have to work very careful with ink. Sometimes if you press the pen too hard, a thick drop of ink will drip, which is very difficult to fix on paper. I bought some nibs many years ago. The ones that work the longest are the ones I bought from Japan. It's that famous G nib plus a few others in the set. They really were great. I like the effect when you press the nib and you get different line thickness. I used to draw a lot in manga style but switch to semi-realistic style. Drawing in multiple styles expands employment opportunities, so I recommend you to master different styles of drawing. Oh, I need my previous drawing next to it because I don't remember all the details of this character. Things like forehead height, hairstyle, wing length, ATC. So now I'm finally dealing with the detail I didn't do with my sloppy drawing. Things like mushrooms, grass, flowers don't need so much attention in my case. It is known that they could be better if I made a more decent drawing but I aim more at an unrealistic style, more simplified. It is a fairy tale themed illustration after all. This saved me some time now. I don't know what to do with the extra time. Any ideas? Now you can see what I do with the detail when I apply ink, where I want something to give the impression of softness, I make delicate thin lines, and the details that I want to have a stronger outline, then I make a thick line. I thought I'd do add the dialogues to these cornflowers because they remind me of chinchillas. They are just as gentle and soft as these animals. If I am thinking right, cornflowers don't bloom when the dylons bloom. Some flowers bloom in spring, others in summer. 
but no matter this is a fairy tale illustration not some educational story about plants in the end you need to erase the drawing it's a tedious process It would be a pity to erase a nice drawing, that's why I draw so badly, so I don't break my heart. It's a very good excuse, don't you think so? Well, then I will improve the thickness of the line here and there. I will improve the detail and that's it. I will be able to get to the watercolors now. I don't know what's better, ink or watercolors. I like both steps. It is very enjoyable. So, thanks for watching and see you by another watercolor video. Bye!